cups means that you have reached a stage of happiness, healing, and emotional fulfillment. However, like all tarot cards, its meaning might not be entirely positive. Stay tuned to learn how to interpret this card when it shows up in a reading. Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Ten of Cups. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next, I'll briefly explain what the card means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed position in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so you can relate the card to a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below as well as to the many books I've used in my research. So let's get started. In the Ten of Cups we see a happy couple and their two children. On the left is a man wearing an orange shirt, blue tights, red socks, and yellow boots with red cuffs. The father's left arm is outstretched and his right arm is around the mother who is wearing a blue dress and a purple underskirt. Her right arm is outstretched towards a rainbow made of ten glowing gold goblets. The sky is blue and cloudless. Beside the couple we see a young boy and girl who are holding hands and dancing. They are wearing the same colored clothing as their parents. The family is standing on flat ground that looks like a stage. They are overlooking an idyllic scene with rolling green hills and trees. To the right, at the top of the hill, is a house with a red roof. To the left is a flowing stream. When this card appears in a reading, it means that your life is overflowing with blessings. You are part of a loving, happy family or a wonderful, supportive community. Ten is a card of completion. It means that you've made it through the good times, as shown by the two, three, and six of cups, and you've made it through the challenging times, as shown by the five, seven, and eight of cups. You are now feeling contented, loved, and fulfilled in your world. This card is a step beyond the nine of cups, where he is enjoying his blessings, but he is all alone in a room. In this card, the blessings are being enjoyed outdoors and with other people. The Ten of Cups can signify marriage, children, happy partnerships, family reunions, and celebrations. Let's talk about the symbolism in the Ten of Cups. We see a happy couple and their two children. This is a scene of a family who has it all, abundance, safety, happiness, and each other. The outstretched arms indicate that the couple are grateful for the many blessings that they have received. On the left is the father wearing an orange shirt, blue tights, red socks, and yellow boots with red cuffs. The orange shirt can symbolize vibrancy and happy memories. The blue tights represent calmness, truth, and spirituality. His yellow boots symbolize happiness and the red cuffs symbolize passion. The colors on the clothes of the little boy show the same vibrancy and happiness as his father. The father's left arm is outstretched towards the rainbow and his right arm is around the woman. Her right arm is outstretched towards the rainbow. The woman is wearing a blue dress and purple underskirt. Her blue dress, which is the same color as the man's tights and also the little girl's dress, represent calmness, truth, and spirituality. Her purple skirt is the same color as her third eye chakra, which represents intuition, wisdom, and higher consciousness. The clothes are quite fancy and show that the family lives in abundance. Beside the couple, we see a young boy and girl who are holding hands and dancing. They are wearing the same colors as their parents, which show harmony within the family. The dancing shows their innocence as they are focused on their playing and not on more adult issues such as gratitude. The family is standing on flat ground that looks like a stage. This could just mean that they are on solid ground. However, another meaning is that this kind of happiness might be a fantasy that only happens in the theater or, in modern terms, on Instagram. They are overlooking an idyllic scene with rolling green hills and trees. Green is the color of abundance, growth, and fertility. To the right, at the top of the hill, is a house with a red roof. 
Homes are a place of security and happiness. Red represents love and vitality. To the left is a stream. This represents that they are in touch with their emotions. The sky is cloudless and blue, so there is nothing obscuring their happiness. In the sky is a rainbow made of ten glowing gold goblets. Rainbows, like the gold cups, are a gift from God and show the end of difficult times. Note that the four cups in the center are touching, which mirrors the relationships of the four family members. Pam Richards, in her book Understanding Tarot, talks about the significance of the rainbow. She says, and I quote, A rainbow is formed after rain, something we can only appreciate when we have gone through a few emotional downpours. And here they are in awe, standing, arms raised, welcoming this gift from the heavens into their lives. Traditionally, rainbows are symbols of good luck, hope, faith, peace, and serenity. They bring encouragement and miracles and show new beginnings on the horizon. Unquote. I was curious if this card was based on the illustrator of the deck, Pamela Coleman Smith's own family. After doing a bit of research, I realized that is highly doubtful as she was an only child. Her mother died when she was 18 and her father died when she was 21. Pamela Coleman Smith never married and did not have any children. It is widely believed that she was gay. So perhaps this is her vision of an ideal family. Or maybe she is more cynical and believes that happiness in a traditional family only exists in the theater. The image on this card might be based on her experience with other people's children. In the book Secret of the Waitsmith Tarot, authors Marcus Katz and Tally Goodwin show a lovely photo of Pamela Coleman Smith and another woman holding hands with what appears to be a seven-year-old girl in a uniform and another girl outside of the frame of the photo. This photo was taken at Small Hythe Palace in 1909 and is a picture that shows great joy. Unfortunately, this image is copyrighted and I don't have permission to use it here. However, I did find an image that shows Pamela Coleman Smith with several friends in Warwickshire, which is Shakespeare's wife's childhood home. Her illustrations in the deck, including this one and the Three of Cups, definitely show that she had strong relationships in her life. When the Ten of Cups appears in an upright position, it could mean that you have everything you need. It could symbolize good luck, abundance, or your dreams coming true. That you have a wonderful marriage, happy family, supportive partnerships, a nurturing community, or other deep, harmonious relationships in your life that you are reuniting with family or loved ones. It could also represent a wedding, family reunion, or other type of party or gathering. The children playing can represent joy and playfulness. This card can also represent having children or the fact that your children play a major role in your life. The Ten of Cups can mean that you will succeed in collaborative events. This might be a work project, playing on a sports team, or planning a festival in your hometown. It could mean that, if you are looking for a home, you will find one that results in great happiness. Or that you have reached a stage of happiness, healing, and emotional fulfillment. Finally, the Ten of Cups can have a more sinister meaning in that you are appearing like the perfect family, but this is just a facade. You are putting on a show of happiness, but the reality of your situation is quite different. Here's an example from my life about a joyful family. My son and daughter are both in their mid to late 20s, so my days of having young children are long in the past. However, recently I have been digitizing family photos and going down memory lane. I know that having young kids can be challenging, but it is generally a time of great joy when the children are quite innocent and they actually want to spend time with you. Plus, you're in good health and not worrying about things like teenage angst, college funds, saving money for retirement, or dealing with aging parents. While I was digitizing photos, I came across pictures of my family's visit to Legoland in California and also the beach in San Diego. My son was six and my daughter was three. We were all so filled with joy and are just beaming with happiness. It was a wonderful time in life and I feel so grateful for these experiences. I assume that is how the couple in this card are feeling. When the Ten of Cups appears in a reverse position, it can signify that you are facing problems with your family or in other relationships. 
For instance, you might be quarreling about something, or you might realize that you no longer want to be part of a group. For instance, you are gay and your ultra-religious parents are determined that, if only you find the right girl, you will forget this gay nonsense and get married. The reverse Ten of Cups can mean that you are facing problems or delays in your quest for happiness. For instance, you are getting married and your father gets sick so he can no longer walk you down the aisle. Or you found the home of your dreams and then the mortgage company didn't approve your loan. The reverse Ten of Cups can mean that you are rejecting the values of your family or community. For instance, you decide not to raise your children in the religion that you were raised in or decide that you are no longer spending every Sunday afternoon visiting your in-laws. It can mean that your community is not caring for people who are less fortunate, and it could represent loneliness, neglect, conflict, abuse, or unhappiness. Finally, this card could represent that you are facing an empty nest, divorce, or loss of a family member. Here are several examples of the reverse Ten of Cups from my life. I have done many things in my life that have gone against my family's norms. The first one was moving from Canada to the United States more than 30 years ago, while the rest of my family still lives within less than two hours of where we were born. Something else I did differently was homeschooling. This was never the plan, but I was forced into it when my son became ill. Although my family was supportive, it was a big deal because my father was a public school teacher and school principal. So homeschooling was a bit of a slap in the face. I also stepped away from my family's religious views. At almost 90, my parents are still very active in their church. Although I consider myself to be a very spiritual person, as an adult I accepted that organized religion was not for me. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Ten of Cups. Number one, what is your version of happiness? Does it require a spouse and two children? Number two, how can you prioritize your own happiness and still take care of your loved ones? Number three, what hard times have you made it through? Does this make you grateful for your current circumstances? Number four, are you ever tempted to pretend that you have it all, even though that is not the reality of your situation? How can you live your own truth? And finally, number five, have you stepped away from your family's beliefs or traditions? Has this made your life better or worse? So I hope that this video has given you some insight into the Ten of Cups. Please join me for the next video, which is the Page of Cups.